Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see the program for finding and replacing a substring in a given string. So the program is we are going to search for a small string in a given string and we are going to replace the same by the new string. So how the program starts as usual include stdiol.h and string.h and also stdlib because we are using some standard library functions in the program. So now first we are return the function and then we are writing the main program as we used to write in the C programming. So now here this is the function. The function name is replace string rep underscore string and it is the it, it is returning in pointer so it is uh, having the pointer variable and then it return type is character and there are three arguments here constant care s constant care old and constant care new one and they are all the pointer variables and they are the integer pointer uh, sorry they are the character pointer variables they are given as care c h e r care as the type so now the program the function starts the it is going to return the variable ret so it is declared as a character pointer variable ret and then two integer variables i and count which is equal to zero and then we are having two more integer variable variables new length and old length this new length is the length of the word we are going to substitute and old length is the length of the word which is word which is existing for example i have given in the example slide here suppose i am going to find the word old and i am going to change into young so old is the word which is the strength the string length is uh, three and young is the new word its string length is five so this is the length this is function string length is used so now coming to the next part of the program this is this program is using the for loop to find out how many times the given old string is existing in the given string so for this the loop starts with for i is equal to zero s of i not equal to slash zero means as long as the end of the string is reached we all know that the end of the string is indicated by a null character which is slash zero so in order so in order to find out the number of times the old string exists we are using the fall for loop and the for loop has to start with the zeroth position till it has to go to the end of the string that is denoted by the null character backslash zero so i plus plus the, the pointer incremented by one and then the checking is if str str this is the function name which come whether it checks whether the old string is within the given string okay so if that is equal to this actually the ambassador symbol and is s of i that means this this statement checks whether the given string contains the old string and if it is there the count is incremented to one so first time it is seeing the the string it is given as count is equal to count plus one one time that string may occur multiple times also so in how many times it is reaching this old string it is repeated the count is incremented by one for example i am just typing the word as i am the first student of the first batch suppose if that is the example here first comes two times so the count will become two i am i am just going to change this first into second that time i can say i am the second student of the second batch so all the first occurrence will be changed into second so that is the count given by count is equal to count plus one so whenever yeah, the old string is found one time the count is incremented to one and it repeats and repeats as long as the same substring is found in the given string and now i is equal to i plus old length minus one so this will find out that this will i have to add upon with the old length value because afterwards what you are going to do is we are going to remove the old word and we have to go in, we have to replace the new word so that many they we have to allocate the memory space also so in order to allocate the memory space this i is incremented to hold the new string so now uh, now the this uh, if if statement is closed by this close brace and the for is also closed by this close brace and now ret is equal to care pointer of malloc malloc is the actually the memory allocation operator which allocates the this amount of memory to the variable which variable which is a return variable so ret is the variable and this variable should have some memory space so how it is allocated it is allocated from the 
length which is found by i plus count into new length minus old length if the count is zero means there is no need to substitute the new variable because that means we are not for example i'm checking for the word seven for a word second if second is not available means that is zero so so the length is also becomes zero so zero and anything is zero so this will allocate the spaces i plus that means along with the old okay along with the old length space how much extra space is needed that is given by the this formula so new length minus old length and then it into count into count is actually the number of times it appears and then i is the old length so I, if it is new length is new string is found out the old length is incremented by the new length otherwise it is the same as the old length so that much space is allocated to the return variable and that is also in character pointer variable and next statement says if r it is equal to null means that means if there is nothing to that is that is that is the space is null that means that if there is nothing to allocate then we say exit failure so that is the failure case and then y is equal to zero when i is equal to zero then we are going to start the while loop this while loop what actually does is it is going to compare the existing of the old string in the given string and is going to copy the new string to the old string in the place of the old string this i is found out the i is the position to hold the variable new variable and new is the real new substitute so string copy is the function which copies this value to this value okay so now i is so if it is available means we are going to replace that old by new so this is the function that does the process and then i is equal to i plus new length and s is equal to s plus old length so accordingly the variables are incremented by the length of the new variable as well as the old variable old string length else it ret of i plus plus is equal to star s plus plus what does it mean is if this not exist means so the old is the new both are same okay if the string does not exist means there is no change at all in the given string so naturally the old string is the new string there is no change at all so for the, this only this checking goes by this while statement so the while statement when the while statement is completed the system must have checked from the first position to the last position whether the substring is available or not if it is available the length is changed if it is not available the length is kept as it is then at the end we have to attach the slash zero which is a null character which shows the end of the variable end of the string so ret of i means the last position will be given as a null character and then return ret now this variable will be returned to the main function which has called so now the while loop is over now we can see the main program so what is the main program here does this int main void and then here we can also simply leave as main within bracket this void is also not necessary okay so int main so what are going to declare my string that is the big string and c is the small string which is going to found out and d is the string to be replaced so three strings we need so they are all character types so m my string c and d so we have to get all these very all this string va values so how to get it just to print the message on the screen print enter the screen print enter the replacing string and also print enter the new string so how to get the variables using the get us and also the scanf this is both are possible we can give here they are giving two different functions to show how it can be applied so get us is to get the string my string and here scanf if you are using scanf you have to use the this is the formatter this is the formatter actually the percentage s is used for the string variable and again for this also the string variable is used as a percentage yes so now you have got all the inputs and now initially the new string is null that means you are you have not found any new string now because now only you got the input you are going to find the new string only after the process after which process after calling this function rep str of my string comma c comma d so new string is the output variable which will be got from this function
can you follow here so this is the function this is going to return the new string so after the processing the new string will be given from the function and it, it is stored in the variable new string and that new string is also printed on the screen so when you run the program you can see the how the output changes and finally there is a free function what is the free function is this free function frees the memory it, it, it releases the memory space allocated by the new string so we have seen that here we are using an m alloc operator here this m alloc operator is an operator that allocates the memory space and then this free is the operator which deallocates the memory space so that's how the program is closed and then return zero and then close the braces and let us see the output how it works out so enter the string to be given that is the my string how old are you and this is the old string just i am giving old and the new string is i am just giving as young so when the statement is how old are you it will replace by how young are you suppose this old appears many times in the first string the young also will appear as many times that is appeared in the first string so that's all how this program works hope you understood the logic begin how this string replacement takes place and thanks for watching